What we have here today is these three panels that we want to switch from 12 volt to 24 volt for the output for lock powers. These are our light power safety panel enclosure with three of our panels inside. First thing we're going to do is remove that tamper. Close it so that annoying noise will go away. So here's FPO1, here's FPO2. This is actually 250, this is the 150. 250 connects to all my Brevo panel boards with readers with the 12 put output. The FPO 150 has a 12 put output, 12 volt output as well. And that's connected to the lock power. And the lock power needs 24 volts. So what we're gonna do is switch to 24 and this is how you do so. So you're gonna power down the system, pull out the battery backups, System is now down. We're gonna hit FPO 150. Now make it 24 volts. We're gonna go to each one of these yellow jumpers here and put it on the top pin, which reads B2. So we're gonna remove it from B1 to B2 on each jumper. Gotta make sure it goes on B2 in the middle prong so that it makes a full conversion. So now they've all been set to 24 volts. The switch has been set down to 24 volts. So now we're gonna hit the battery. Everything pops back on. Let me connect the battery backups. And so now they're all at 12 volts still. What we'll need to do is we want each one of those lights to be blue, which indicates 24 volts, which that light right there indicates it's putting off 24 volts. So that green light says it's putting off 12 volts. So after we trip each lock, it's gonna turn the light blue and indicate that it's now outputting 24 volts. Now they are all reading 24 volt output. And if you had any questions on where you're gonna power up these boards, I was told by Brevo to power them up by DC2, and that is incorrect. You would wanna power them up to this guy right here because this is the output for each individual guy. So you wouldn't have to make this. Basically what I did is duplicated this Life Power Safety built this for you to utilize, but Brevo at this point was saying not to utilize it at this point. Again, you could also utilize this to go straight to here versus having to make your own cable because I had to depin this just so it wouldn't look funky so I had extra cables. Another thing I did was I needed a long enough cable to go from basically here to the next board over here on my other panels. So I made my own cable and that's something you could do as well. But that's it for today. Thanks guys.